Rainwater runoff is one of the factors that erodes the desert, but the main one is wind. Strong winds strip away any loose sand and soil, slowly changing the shape of the ground. You can see here how the wind has shaped the desert. These plants have secured the soil around them, but on either side the wind has blown away any loose material, lowering the surface. What's left are just pebbles forming a brittle desert pavement. It's so fragile that even my footsteps could break up the surface enough to allow the wind to erode it further. Although the desert soil is fragile, it's far from useless. Looking around at the sparse vegetation, you might think that the soil here was very poor. In fact, the opposite is true. It's very rich in nitrogen compounds and mineral deposits. The sparse vegetation and dry conditions means there's little or no humus layer in the desert. However, the soil does have a thick layer of mineral-rich subsoil sitting on top of the bedrock. Minerals end up in the soil from rotting vegetation like this. And because there's so little rainfall, material builds up over time rather than getting washed away. The result is a soil in which you can grow almost anything so long as you've got some water. But this part of the desert only gets 10 days of rain every year. It may be many more days before the winter rains come. 